How Your Eye Works Using Averted Vision An overlooked skill among new amateur astronomers is the art of seeing faint objects. Whether it's with your unaided eye or with optics, the fact is if you just head out the back door and walk up to a telescope and look at a faint galaxy or nebula in the eyepiece, you'll likely not see anything at all. To see the subtle detail in faint celestial objects, you have to condition your eye and learn to use it to expose the most sensitive parts of your retina. First, a little background on how, how your eye works. The retina of your eye has two types of light detecting cells. These are rods and cones. Cones detect color under well-lit conditions and are densely packed in the fovea near the center of the retina. Cones help you see color and fine detail, which is why you look directly at objects when you want to see well, like books, movies, and faces. Rods are mostly away from the center of your retina. You see less detail and no color with the rods, but they're much, much more sensitive to light. The way your eye is structured means that you see the faintest objects if you look 8 to 16 degrees off-center. The exact angle is a little different for each person, and the, this only works if the object you're looking at is on the noseward side of your face. So look slightly rightward with your right eye and leftward with your left eye. This technique is called averted vision. It exposes the most sensitive part of your eye and lets you see fainter objects. Using averted vision only works if you avert your eyes in the right direction. Do the reverse and you'll expose the blind spot of your eye and you won't see a thing. If you're using both eyes, like with binoculars, looking only sideways makes one eye more sensitive at the expense of the other. The solution is to look up. That uses another rod-rich part of your retina above the fovea. With a little practice, averted vision can reveal objects that are 20 to 40 times fainter than direct vision. That's a huge difference, and you'll be amazed how much you can see. And one more thing. The rods in your eye are more sensitive to blue-green light, but your optics nerve and brain are not wired to detect color when only your rod cells are exposed to light. That's why fainter objects in a telescope appear grayish-white. You won't see color in galaxies and nebula like you would see in a photograph or from a huge telescope.